This is <laughs> this is the Florida Peace and Coalition of Justice. I think I didn't totally butcher that, but um, they let hikers stay in this little area here. There's a kitchen. There's a bathroom. I slept inside <laughs> on a mat, but you can also tent out in the yard, and they also have. An Airbnb on the property that you can rent as well. So the plan today, there's a couple different shuttles going out. So there's one shuttle going out at 7 a.m., there's one at 9, and there's one at 10. I'm gonna hop on the 7 a.m. shuttle because I'm going to do this five mile loop that some people decided to skip. Um, but I really wanna do it because it goes around some lakes and it sounds really cool. So I'm gonna head out there with a group and get that knocked out. And then we're actually slack packing back to here. We'll walk in, grab our bags, and we'll either camp here or there's a campsite about three miles from here. And that will set us up for an easy 14 mile day into Lake Butler tomorrow on Saturday so that we can watch the Illini game because Illinois plays Indiana and Nana Man is an Indiana fan. So it's about to go down and I'm excited. And we're gonna get hiking here. It is supposed to rain today. I don't know when, but uh, be looking out for that. And that's the update so far. All right, we are back here. We're about to go into Camp Baldy Landing. <laughs> and we are excited. We're slack packing. It's gonna be a good day. Okay, we are filling out our permits for the Camp Landing. <laughs> Thank you. Woohoo, we did it. I love the Spanish moss. It's like a fairy tale land. This is awesome. You can see the lake behind those trees. It's really pretty. We just turn the corner and we have this really pretty lake. It looks like the ocean comes. Beautiful water. This is Magnolia Lake, very beautiful. You can see here, the water is crystal clear, so I assume that this is a spring-fed lake. Looks like great fishing, kayaking. It's so pretty, look at this pretty creek. Two feet deep. That's some good water. So we, I guess, are walking through a controlled burn right now. This feels very wrong, but this tree is on fire very actively on fire at that it's it's scorching
All right, we have finished the section and we are off to the next one. All right, sugar, uh, not so bad, and I finished the little six mile loop around the lakes. It was really pretty. And then as soon as we got back on trail where everybody else is gonna get dropped off, we ran into tripod machine and wizard. So they somehow timed that perfectly. And now we're all hiking together. We have 12, 11 miles till we hike back all the way back to the hostel. And then we have a couple other people that are getting dropped off in the 10 o'clock group. Um, we should all end up back. But it's another beautiful day. Nice to slack pack. And because we haven't taken a zero in two weeks, this is kind of our zero for now in a way. Give our feet and legs a little bit of a break. So we'll probably carry around eight pounds worth of camera gear and I bring my jacket just in case we get out late and I have my umbrella and a few things that do weigh kind of a lot but I mean it's way better than the 20 pounds I would be carrying. <laughs> Rolling Hills. It's absolutely beautiful here. I love this. We've made it to our first rest stop. The exit. We asked for here and like if you had any idea like that meant that we could go and like like doing that instead to be like, okay, all right, that's pretty cool. We gotta Thanks, dude. Look at this crew. And like when she told me that, I was like, We got one. Wild oranges. Oh, he got it. Oh, he got another one. <laughs> we have to cross this road. We made it across one lane or two lanes of traffic. All right, y'all, update. We have like 1.5 miles till we get back to the hostel. Original plan was to hike three more out from there and stay at a campsite, but we've done some further investigations and it appears that campsite no longer exists on Far Out. It's been logged or something. Uh, people say it's not a reliable campsite. And with 10 people, um, not good news. So we may have end up staying at the hostel another night and then just hiking out in the morning and pushing to Lake Butler. And I think it is actually starting to rain. So good thing we are almost back. Yeah, I'm tired. I am zoinked today. So, yep. Gonna rest when I get home or back to the hospital. Yeah, uh, we you made it. it.
To like dry it out. To dry it out. So you can put it over here, you fill it up, and then you can do like a rinse cycle on this side. Doing our laundry. Oh, it already is. Yeah. This and thing's then... kinda cool. Yeah. So you, here, here, here's your drain valve. Okay. So once the cycle's done, you still have to manually drain. Okay. okay. So just like go. Yep. And then once we drain it, we just put it here and put it turn here, it on the five. And you can turn it to five. Now, if, if you wanted to rinse it, you, you can either rinse on this side or you can rinse on this side because. Okay, turn it off. We accomplished another 21.5 miles today. Now I am just tired. So I'm going to see you guys tomorrow morning. Good night.